Hey, Alex. What's going on? Steve, where have you been? The village is under attack. Your iron armor, Steve. Put it on. We need to save the village. All right, all right. I guess that is important. Hang on. All right. I got my iron armored Steve on. Are you crazy? Go take that iron armored Steve off your head and put your real iron armor on before the creepers are on top of us. So many details. Okay, okay. Oh, there goes the carousel. I liked that ride. Sorry, Alex. I think I got your instructions confused again. Did you say creepers all over us before the iron armor? Oh, Steve, you're hopeless today. Charge! What do you think, guys? Should we go into battle? <laughs> Nap time. On the table, 2017 Minecraft Marathon of Figures still going full force with the Minecraft Survival Mode Mattel Figures. We have the Attacking Enderman, Iron Armor Steve, and Spinning Shulker. Will these figures live up to their action features? We will see. Teleporting some things out of the picture, let's start with the Attacking Enderman. Stuff on the back of the box, a crafting guide for an Ender Pearl. Endermen are scary, but they won't attack unless provoked. Try not to look at or damage them. When they get angry, they open their mouths and shake with rage. The action feature, push down to open mouth. Other figures available, I passed on Chopping Alex, as it looked to be just another figure of Alex with just an axe. Didn't seem to be worth picking up. Let's not wait any longer, let's get this Enderman outside of the box. Whoa, that was a cool trick. So the Enderman has teleported itself outside of the box. I wish all the toys could do that. Once again, I can't say enough about the awesome box design of the survival mode figures. So there is the Enderman. And if you look closely, we might also have another first in toy unboxing here. It's a little bit disturbing, but there is a hair embedded and stuck to this Enderman's hand. So uh, let's see here, made in China. I have a piece of someone's hair from China on this Enderman's hand. And I'm pretty sure it's from China or somewhere because it is stuck tight. It's not something that happened in the last couple minutes. Uh, wow. I am not sure what to say about that. That has never happened in my life of opening a toy. A human hair on my action figure. That's one for the books. So the Enderman is here looking very tall. A tall man. The Enderman comes with a block of grass. I really like how Mattel does their blocks. It's kind of like a two-layered plastic thing with a little bit of texture going on. Then you can compare it to the Jazzwares block, which is almost the exact same size, if not is the exact same size. I could do a whole 10 minute review on these blocks someday. So let's see how this action feature works. We have a lever, I believe, on the back here, very similar to all the other survival mode figure levers. And we're going to try and attack or open his mouth, whatever. Okay, so it's gonna open his mouth. And like most of the survival mode figures, this is a pretty clean action feature. Opens and closes real easily. Obviously, if you want to move these arms uh, yourself, this is not part of the action feature. You just move the arms out, and there you go. This guy could pretty much have his own talk show now. Yes, uh, today's guests are uh, Alex, a uh, pink-dyed sheep, and a creeper. That would also be pretty entertaining. Also, a nice and needed accessory to this figure is this nice little teleportation glow that he can stand on. You can see without it, 
it's a little tricky to stand the Enderman, especially when his arms are sticking straight out. When he's straight down, you can get him to stand, but you really need this little bit to kind of give him that stability for doing this sort of thing. So, good thing they included that. That is the Enderman, and it is totally worth it. Probably one of your top three survival mode figures. Just hope you don't have a human hair attached to yours. And there Enderman goes. You forgot your block. There we go. Moving on to Iron Armor Steve. I think the survival mode figures with the armor are truly the best of the survival mode figures, as they are the most useful and adventurous. On the back of the box, a crafting guide for a iron helmet and a iron sword. Attach armor pieces to Steve's head. Armor up, Steve! And other figures available. I don't think Steve is going to teleport out of this box, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Steve figure outside of the package, another great Steve. No action features on this guy because we're going to dress him up. But a good core Steve figure for you. Adding armor is really simple on these guys. Find the legs. Make sure to have the open end on the inside of the leg. These also give the figure a little bit of stability in standing. It's got some shoulder pad pieces. You can see the notch that clips in up top. You can pop out these arms a little bit if you want a little more rotation. I love how tightly these helmets fit. Very snug, but easy to remove. And there we go. That is a cool figure. There is so much prepare for adventure with this figure. Absolutely the best. And we'll make a good pairing with Enchanted Armor Alex. Pretty much the same idea. These two figures though are absolutely perfect and are the few Mattel figures that give the Jazzwares figures a run for their money. <laughs> Alright, next up we have a uh, zombie and a wolf. I didn't see this originally on the table but it just kind of was there. The box design is a little different but I think it's because of an update or something. It's definitely worth checking out. Let's get these guys outside of the package. Alright, outside of the package with a Series 2 zombie, looking very rounded and realistic, but kind of cartoony, not very Minecraft-like. I'm surprised this is even in the series, but there it is. Looks like we have a little bit of rotation in the arms, and nothing on the head, kind of a squishy body, very interesting toy, completely different than what I'm seeing with the other survival mode figures. The wolf dog looks absolutely terrified, absolutely scared. Kind of feel bad for the dog, but it looks like there's some pretty good articulation up on the shoulders and the knees and the hips and such. Really good likeliness uh, to nothing in Minecraft. I do see a blue dyed collar. I'm still trying to work on that myself. Oh, and rotating head. Oh, and look at there. We even have an action feature. Um, the wolf eyes pop out of the head. That is really clever although I have yet to see that in the game. Quick comparison here, we have a Series 1 zombie. You can totally tell there are some great differences going on. But perhaps as we go more real, we'll see some just incredible things going on. So there you go with that uh, zombie and wolf pack found on the shelf with the survival mode figures. <laughs> ah. And the last figure I have to show today is the Minecraft Spinning Shulker. Looks interesting. Radically different than many of the survival mode figures we've seen. On the back of the box, a quick crafting guide on how to make a purper block. Info being, when a shulker attacks, it opens its shells and shoots guided missiles, which will chase after their target relentlessly. This toy might be really dangerous. Snap the two pieces to assemble the shulker, push button to spin and launch projectiles. Warning, do not aim at eyes or face, only use projectiles supplied with this toy, do not fire at point blank range. I'm kind of afraid, but it looks so cool and square and cubey, let's open this up.
outside of the package with the spinning shulker. Very intriguing little cube. Probably the most curious survival mode figure I've seen to date. If you look closely, you can see the shulker inside. I've only run into a shulker once in the game, accidentally spawned one in a tunnel I was building. Didn't realize it, kept going. Then later, when I went back into the tunnel, there it was, popping out of the ground where a block was supposed to be. It was amusing. I eventually shot it with an arrow, I think. So anyhow, let's see how this toy works. It's supposed to spin. Looks really complicated. Something you'd hide your spare keys in. There we go. Yeah, it spins with some great deal of force. Then we're going to drop in these uh, shulker projectiles. Let's see if these glow in the dark, by the way. They don't. They almost look like they would glow in the dark, but they don't. At least mine don't. There we go. And this is how I lose one of my eyes. And where I go to eyepatch.com. Great sight. Okay, let's see here. Let's give it a shot. Uh, push button, spin to launch, watch your face. Do not aim directly in face, eyes, all that sort of thing. So let's see if I can get a good view of this. Oh, they just kind of roll right off. I wouldn't be worried about this. All right, let's really crank it this time. Yeah, not too dangerous. I think we're safe. I'm sure this action feature varies by toy, so test it out before you knock out an eye. Perhaps we should try it with it completely hidden and then press the button too. All right, here we go, watch your eyes. Ha, interesting toy. Together grouped the four survival mode figures of today. Again, check out the importance of this teleportation stand. It really helps balance the Enderman while it holds that block of grass. Close up, dude, you're scaring the wolf. The three central figures I definitely recommend. Maybe the Shulker last, but the Enderman and Iron Armor Steve are totally awesome. This new zombie mod is kind of interesting, and it's fun to have a wolf that is so scared. <gasps> oh no! Minecraft survival mode figures from Mattel, Enderman, Spinning Shulker, and Iron Armored Steve appear on store shelves 2017. If you have to have that Enderman, which I totally suggest you have to have, find it and teleport it out of the box. And if you like risking eye patches, the Spinning Shulker. And of course, Iron Armored Steve is the perfect action figure with accessories. The zombie, though, is a little bit confusing, and the scared wolf, I just feel bad for it. That's what I have to say about that. Perhaps the Enderman could teleport that hair back to the person in China? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Like Scooby-Doo, where are you? Ooh. Booga booga booga! Zoinks! Black Knight villain! Ah! <laughs> it's me, Shaggy! Ah! Hey! Wait for me! Ah!